to the core questions that I ask all of our guests on the show, I'm going to phrase it slightly differently this time, but it's, it's the same question is what one thing that small businesses do that really grinds your gears in terms of marketing? What do you wish they would stop doing? And it can't be branding, right? No, no, can't no, be no. Not paying attention to branding. That's cheating. No, I, 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 you know, again, small business as in the com uh, small business uh, as a company itself, you have to have a business proposition that sets you apart. And uh, that's a fundamental question you have to answer. Why do I, why does this business exist? Uh, or why does this brand exist? It's the why. What is your purpose? And what sets you apart from everybody else? And if you can't answer that question, that brand should not exist. That business should not exist because you have to have something compelling to the marketplace. It really doesn't matter about anything else and what kind of products you churn out. Differentiation is key and your purpose to exist. I love that. I love that. And to flip that question on its head, what's one thing that you wish, like when you have clients come to you, that you wish that they had done long, long ago um, with regards to their market? What do you wish that they'd fixed? And again, not, not allowed to have opposite. Yes, I I go back to this very fundamental element in every instance where I see the issues that are coming up and it all goes back to their pillars and and the fundamental strategy. They put, they feel they can uh, fly by the seat of their pants and you pay a price for that. You really do. Uh, it it hampers your growth. It could completely deaden your growth, uh, and ultimately, it won't allow you to execute in a seamless way. And ultimately, you want to be executing in a seamless process, uh, but you can't do it if you don't have your initial strategies in place. Too many small businesses just mm -hmm. wake up in the morning and grind. And there is no thought to that. There's no space for it in, in their minds because they're busy surviving. So you have to carve that out. Too busy thinking about the sand and the, the things that can be done by pretty much anybody that will probably happen all on their own if you let them, as opposed to breaking down the big rocks that sit at the top of the business that you're trying to avoid because they're quite hard to think about and articulate, right? I'll give, I'll give you an um, example. Fascinating, no? Yes. I, so I'll give you an example that that's happening right now. I, I had, I have a client that uh, brought in, they, they established their U.S. operation. They brought in X amount of 6,000 cases of, of wine. Uh, and then the question came, how, how do we actually now do this? So the strategy was on the one hand, to create a sales platform and all that, but they didn't answer the practical question in the beginning. And now they're looking for solutions and who can help with bridging that aspect of that business that they just launched. And and these are serious people. So it's happening at every level. And that kind of solution then has to be tailored around the mistakes that have already been made or the situation that already exists as opposed to being a natural solution to yeah. a problem that, that could never have happened in the first place. Yeah. Love so it. I think I'd like to think that from our conversation, Monica, like a lot of our audience came to the came to the episode a little bit bemused by the fact that I brought somebody who's an expert in the wine and spirits industry to traditionally what is 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 not a wine and spirits audience. But I hope everybody can now see what I saw at the beginning, which was there's a lot of crossover between the two industries. There's a lot of learnings that people could take from your experience, the things that you're seeing in that industry as a unique industry that are quite applicable to a lot of other things. 